Boop, 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 ba -la -la -boo. Pandora. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what a healthy diet for chinchilla looks like. Basically, I'm going to talk about the best types of food. And I'll link all the brands down in the description below. So basically, what a chinchilla diet includes is hay, water, and occasionally treats. It is not healthy to feed your chinchilla a wide variety of foods since their diet is very sensitive, especially to sugar. Also, you want to try and minimize the food for your chinchilla to keep their digestive systems functioning properly. Um, I recommend you buy your food in bulk so that it will be cheaper in the long run. Other than that, the foods that I am going to mention in this video, you really shouldn't be feeding your chinchilla anything else unless told by a vet or a medical professional. Um, keeping all that in mind, now I'm going to go into more details about the specific types and brands of food that are best for chinchillas. So first of all, do you need chinchilla pellets? Um, make sure you're giving your chinchilla food that's designed specifically for chinchillas, otherwise um, it won't be healthy for them and most likely cause problems. The brand that I use is Selective and the pellets already contain all the main nutrients your chinchilla needs. It is also very high in fiber. Uh, Pandora loves it. So where I put my food in, um, I put my food in this china dish, which is pretty heavy. So Pandora doesn't accidentally knock her food over while eating. Other options are to buy a stainless coop cup where it connects to the side of your cage, something like what you would see in a parrot cage. As for how much you feed your chinchilla, I feed Pandora 1.4 ounces, which is also equal to 40 grams of pellets every day. I usually split it up to half in the morning and half in the night. So I come to the bag, grab a handful, And that's about how much I feed Pandora in the morning. So I just... I put my food over here in the corner. If you have a double story cage, I recommend that you put all your food in one level because that just reduces the mess and is easier to clean. Do not put your food in plastic bowls because the chinchilla might chew it. The best brands of chinchilla pellets I recommend are the Selective Pellets, Oxbow Essential Chinchilla Food, and Missouri Chinchilla Diet. So next we are going to talk about hay. Hay is essential for your chinchilla's health as it helps their digestive system and also helps them chew down their teeth. Types of hay that I recommend are Timothy hay or alfalfa hay. Um, those will be the best for your chinchilla. When picking out hay, try to pick the ones that are long and green because those are the best quality. The brand I use is KT All Natural Timothy Hay and I have no problems with it. I also give Pandora hay tubes once in a while. The brand I use is KT Timothy Blend Tubes. If you're not familiar with what hay tubes are, they are basically hardened high fiber hay that are in the form of cubes and it is very good for your chinchillas to grind their teeth down. So for what to keep your hay in, you will need a hay rack or a hay sack to put the hay in. In my case, I have made my own hay sack with felt. Also, do not put your hay in any form of plastic racks or bowls. Um, I put the hay next to the pellets, so the food is all grouped together and is easier for the chinchilla and also for me to clean. There is not really a set amount of how much hay you need to provide your chinchilla. Just replenish the hay every day depending on the size of your hay sack. Personally, because mine is kind of small, I replace it every morning and sometimes at night when the hay is running low. Some good brands of hay is Oxbow Western Timothy Hay and Katie All Natural Hay. Next, we are moving on to water. Water is very important for chinchillas, so make sure you have fresh, clean, and filtered water available for your chinchilla every day. You want to keep your water in a glass or plastic water bottle. 
Not a glass dish because you don't want their fur getting wet, especially because their fur is so dense it won't be able to dry. Make sure to change your water every day so it is always fresh. I will link some bottles that you can purchase down in the description. Moving on to treats. I'm going to start off by saying you do not have to feed your chinchilla treats just because they beg you so desperately for them. It's perfectly fine and very healthy to not give chinchilla treats, but sometimes it's so fun to watch them nibble so cutely on that treat. Some treats that you can give more often are rose hips and cheerios. Other treats such as goji berries and dried fruit should be given at the most once a week. And remember, it is not mandatory to feed your chinchilla treats. There is so much to go into treats, but I will make a separate video for that. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope this helps. I've attached the links down below in the description so feel free to check them out and make sure to post any further questions in the comments i post a video every sunday so stay tuned see you guys next week bye